Hello, beautiful heroes. You'd like to report a crime. Yes, this is 911. What is your emergency? <laughs> Welcome, uh, Julie Error Epic. Anybody lurking? Anybody just coming in? Hello, hello. The ending song to Mario Odyssey. Oh, is that what Daisy Circuit is? Oh, Wait a minute. No. yeah. What was the girl's name? Charles, thank you for the resub. Happy 46 months. Old man sub. Double old man sub. Oh, there it yeah. is. There's the old man sub. Oh, the song after. Okay, okay. Thank you, Boggs, for the resub. Happy 63 months. Old man sub. Hello, hello. Oh, the game's not here. Hold on. We gotta get it back. Come on. So what happens when you let a switch sit for too long? Come on. Maybe if I take the controllers off. Whole slice queen. Conversation we just had in Discord is gonna haunt me. It's okay, it's gonna haunt me too. And I'm practically the one that started it. Kind of. Listen, all I did was make a comment about a butt. I I didn't I didn't mean for it to get so out of hand. It's okay if you want to uninvite me from your house, Julie, for the pain I've caused you. <laughs> I'll understand. Um, okay, I fixed it. You did! You made it in time, Charles! Welcome, welcome. Um, guys, I had a time. I had a time. I need someone to explain this to me. I need someone to help me come up with a theory. Sounds like I missed a good conversation in Discord. Basically, I just suggested that AJ cut a hole in his butt akin to a pocket, but like in the skin and was storing drugs in there. That's it, that's all. Oh, and uh, slowly got a new chair. <laughs> birds and bees, Miro, birds and bees. No, 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 not that kind of explanation, no. No, this is, oh God, it was so weird. It was so weird. It was another one of those instances where I just, I'm sitting there like, Am I actually living in a simulation gone wrong? Like, what is happening? Uh, even, it got so weird this time to the point where Boggs was like, are we being pranked right now? Like, are we on a prank show? So, let me set the stage. It is Sunday. I think it was Sunday. Sunday, we go to Korean barbecue. If you've never been to Korean barbecue, basically, you usually, you, you walk in, you get seated at a table. There's a little grill in the table. And you say, like, I'd like to order this X type of meat, right? We usually get brisket. So I'd like to order the brisket. And they bring you a plate of raw meat. And you cook it on the grill yourself. You eat some side dishes, you know, whatever. Uh, but you cook the meat yourself, and then you eat it. So we went to Korean barbecue, and we've been to this place before. Completely, totally normal experience. It was really busy at the time. Um, and this time we walked in, and there was, like, two tables. And we're like, oh, like, not busy on a Sunday night. That's fine, whatever. So um, the waitress comes over. It's a very nice girl. And she, she's like, oh, you guys have been here before? We're like, yeah, we know what to do. Like, we'll take this. Thank you so much. And she leaves. And she, like, I think, I think at that point she had turned on the grill. And she leaves. We're like, cool, that's our waitress, whatever. And then a young, I want to say, like, 20-somethings Asian guy comes over and like adjusts the grill and then leaves. And we're like, oh, that was weird, but whatever. <laughs> and then he's the one that brings out our meat and he just starts putting it on the grill and we're like, okay, cool. Like we, I, I was at a Korean place one time where the lady stirred my beef and bat for me because she assumed I didn't know how to eat it. Like sometimes they just kind of get very hands-on. I don't know. Julie, welcome. You're just in time for the story. AJ, also welcome. You're just in time for the story. Um, so he like starts putting the meat on. I was like, cool, he's gonna put it on for us. We'll take it from there. No, this man c persisted to like, just continued to cook all of the meat. He like put it on our individual plates. He like asked us questions about, it, it was so weird. It, it, it alternated between like a really weird personal question and him just standing there in silence like a weird butler. 
And the questions were like, are you guys married? And we're like, that's weird, but no. Uh, and he was like, what did you guys eat today? And we're like, again, weird, but Fox had to be like, I ate a donut. And I wasn't about to admit this, admit to this guy that all I ate that day was tater tots. So um, I definitely told him, oh, I just ate some leftovers. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess, I guess we basically got a butler to cook our meat. And after he'd finished cooking it all, he, like, replaced the cover that goes over the grill, because it was a little bit dirty. He replaced the cover, like, turned the grill off, and left. And we we're like, wow, that was really fucking weird. And as he was leaving, he's like, do you want some extra sides or whatever? And we're like, yeah, sure. And, like, the whole time it was uncomfortable because we couldn't really, like, ask... Like, we couldn't tell each other anything or, like, have a conversation without, like, excluding him completely. It was really bizarre. And he, like, turns off the grill, leaves, brings us the broccoli, and the girl comes back over, and she's like, oh, do you want anything else? We're like, yeah, actually, we wanted some more meat. She's like, okay, cool. She turns the grill back on, and I think, I think she was the one to bring the second plate of meat. I think she brought the second plate of meat. She's like, do you guys know, like, do you, do you guys want me to help? And we're like, no, we got it. Like, we're good. We're, we're on our own. The guy came back again, turned the grill down more, and like they kept they kept fighting over the dial. It was like watching children like have a battle over who's gonna win on what the grill temperature was. It was very odd. He came back over, fiddled with the grill, and was like about to cook more meat. And the girl came over and she's like, "No, you have you have people in your section. Like get the fuck out of my table section. Leave right now." And so he left. <laughs> He came back again and was asked, he's like, do you guys want like more rice or something? And I was like, yeah, sure. I would love some more rice. This man came back with a, I fucking kid you not, an entire like trolley cart, like a cart, like an entire cart for just a tiny bowl of rice. He had the tiny bowl of rice in the middle of the cart. And this is the point where Box was like, are we being pranked right now? Like, is this some sort of strange joke? Like what is happening right now? And we watched this guy. He did not cook meat at anybody else's table. Like, he was a normal server to other people. I don't understand what was happening. I, he, he couldn't have, like, been trying to work harder for an extra tip either because we weren't even his table. Like, I don't understand. And then Boggs was like, well, maybe he thought that you were cute. And I was like, I, I mean, that's possible. But after he asked the marriage question, like, what what would be the follow-up be like oh you're not married you want to go date me like brazenly ask in front of someone else's boyfriend like that would be next level I, <laughs> he was trying to hit on bugs maybe maybe he thought bugs was cute and wanted to snipe him i don't know i don't know what was going on did my boyfriend almost get stolen maybe the meat I, i'll give him this he cooked meat really well i i mean it was just really awkward. It was so awkward. 10 out of 10 will go back to that Korean barbecue, though, because their food is fire. So, it was, just, it was so fucking weird. It was also, like, really hard to hear him over the sizzling meat. Like, when he tried to have a conversation, I had to, like, really try to listen. It was just so weird. And then after that, he disappeared and never came back. So, I... <sighs> It could it could have also my other my other running theory is that maybe the manager of the place was Make one of those rain. like <laughs> was maybe one of those really hard ass people that was like if you have time to lean you have time to clean and so they like felt pressured to look like they were doing something I don't know Korean barbecue survey thank you for the donation it says but just out of curiosity who was the better waiter hmm hmm. You know, I still go with the girl because at least she asked. She said, like, do you want me to do it for you? And then we had a choice. Just doing it for us without the choice, I think, was a little bit too bold, in my opinion. Uh, it's like that when I go to a Chinese or Indian oh, restaurant, they ask yeah. for something spicy, and I have to go there a few times before they'll make it spicy enough. Oh, yeah, they're like, oh, this American, like, really can't handle it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I can't handle it, and I ask for no spice, so. Admiral Broco, thank you for the resub. Happy 52 months. The guy from the Dirty Jobs is so talented. In addition to his handiwork, he has a really cool hidden talent. It's almost like a superpower. With just the simplest gesture, he can turn anything scalding hot. We call it a microwave. Ah. <laughs> that was so dumb and good. I like that one. 
He was like, it's my destiny to cook meat for these people. Let me fulfill my life's goal, Lizzie. Maybe? I don't, I don't know. It might be the weirdest encounter I've ever had. I think what tipped it over the edge was the rice on the cart. Like an entire cart just for rice. Like that, it was almost too comedic. And we were like, are they having a competition to make see like right. who can make us, like who can make us laugh first? Is that what's happening? <laughs> wow, okay, okay, I get it. You don't like good conversation. If you, if you could have been a fly on the wall and listened to the conversation, I don't think you would have described it as good. But uh, thank you, Korean barbecue guy. <laughs> the donation. I guess technically you were a fly on the wall because you were there, right? It was, just, it was so weird. The weirdest instant of my, instance of my life. But I got a good story out of it. So, you know, there's that. There's that. I feel like I had another story for you guys, and now I can't remember what it was. Um. Oh, hardcore. that's what it was. No, I do remember. Hardcore to the mega. <laughs> Julie, thank you for the hardcore. I do remember. I just wanted to report. Here, I can show proof. I'll show receipts. I'll show receipts. Oh, wait. I am on. Oh, is it gonna, is it, oh God, really? Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. No. Oh, that's because of, if, that's because the screen itself is blurry. There, there. I, I. It's 412. I'm on 412. Also, apparently for some reason, I keep getting weird communication errors in this game when it's been asleep for too long. What do you mean lies? It's right there. Oh, now it's too bright. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> it just looks like garbage. It says 412. Thank you for reminding me I was going to play during stream. Do it. Do it. Get ahead of me. Uh, by the way, I uh, invited my cousin to participate. She, she's not coming to your house, Julie. I didn't I didn't tell her about that part. Um, but she wanted some motivation to also finish the game. She fucking played 10 hours yesterday. 10. 10. <laughs> 10. She's way ahead now. She's ahead of all of us. We're fucked. What game are you talking about? Oh, Admiral Boko. Yeah, sorry. This is really confusing to people who weren't here last time. Uh, a lot of us made a bet. Not really a bet, but a competition to try to finish Persona uh, 5. Royal specifically, I think. Um, to finish Persona 5 Royal in a year. So by like, let's say April 15th. Like mid-April. We all want to want to have finished Persona. Here's cousin actually has you heard it here first. Hacked switch? Hacked? No. Okay, I gotta I gotta get out of this dialogue because this clacking is driving me nuts. Hey Mia, what was that just now? Could that be another curse echo different from mine? I think so, yes. We may have been discovered by another curse bear. Oh. Thank God. Sweet Jesus. What's wrong? Shh. Somebody's here in that classroom. What? Nani? They're all playing for second place? Yeah, absolutely. Because Air apparently already beat it, but he didn't beat Royal, so he's a cheater. Wait, no, did you beat Royal? No, you didn't beat Royal on Switch. I think all of us, like, kind of inadvertently agreed to play it on Switch. You did beat Royal. Okay. You just didn't beat it on Switch. Uh, something moved inside. Well... I'll check it out stealthily. I want to know what kind of threat I'm dealing with. You're not on Switch? Okay. Nobody agreed to be on Switch then. <laughs> it's, maybe, did we all agree to be on Royal? I'm not buying the game again. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's my other story. <sighs> when I went to go get Persona 5 Royal for Switch, which will be, I think, my fourth oh, copy. Oh, yeah. My fourth copy of the game. Thank you for gifting a sub to Epic. Epic, welcome back to the superheroes. Happy 22 months. Thank you for the gifted sub, Air. I appreciate that. Um. Anyway, when I went to go pick that up, I went up to the counter to buy it. And the guy was like, oh, do you have a PS5? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, we have the steelbook for PS5 for Persona 5 Royal right over there if you'd rather have that copy. And I was like, ah. No, I already own that copy. 
But good news is he's also lunatic like me. And he's like, oh, yeah, me. God, me too. I have the Persona. I have the PS4 Steelbook and the PS5 Steelbook. And then my girlfriend wanted it on Switch. So we have like four copies in the house. I was like, thank God he gets it. He fucking gets it. <laughs> and we had a, we, we bonded. We had a moment. It was great. Might be a curse bearer who used a curse echo just now. If we can see who it is, it might help us decide what to do later. That's true. Okay, be careful. We're gonna get dead. We're gonna get hella dead. Isn't the one... <laughs> yeah, and then he asked if I was married. Yeah, no. <laughs> I have been hit on in a GameStop before, though. Um, long, long time ago, I went to go get... Um, pick up a copy of Rune Factory 4 for the 3DS like on my lunch break looking like a hot goblin and some dude just started hitting on me it was like a really long line it was like through the mall for some reason that day and this dude just struck up a conversation with me and then asked for my number and I was like I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm gonna go home to my boyfriend now <laughs> who hasn't been hit on in GameStop to be honest I feel like girls in GameStops are like unicorns you know like guys see one and they're like oh a girl that games what was that a really small wine bottle no um i'm sorry to disappoint it is a tapa chico it is sparkly water but did he play the game for you though which, which guy the guy that just i that understood my desire to own persona on multiple platforms or the guy 10 years ago 10 is a stretch Box said, nah, I'm not. Yep, mm-hmm. It's true. A, a girl? Gru's accent? Gru. Like, from Minions? Uh, can you see anything? Try to get a look around. Oh, man. I hate doing this shit. Oh. Ah. Yo, is this some pedophilia shit? Well, I guess you can't call it pedophilia if, like, they're almost of it. Is it considered pedophilia if the kid's, like, 16? Statutory rape, but is it <laughs> that be multiple persona disorder? Yes, yes, in fact, it is. I, yes, that's what I have. I turned my girlfriend into a gamer, she's addicted to Call of Duty and Fortnite. Wow, well, so you never see her anymore, is what you're saying. Wow, I mean, yes, but from Despicable Me. I saw that movie once when it came out like a thousand years ago, and never again. The whole minions craze just really killed my soul. There's a different turn for teens below legal age. Okay, okay, okay. If fenbophilia still gross? DJ, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, so different word. I turned my mom into a gamer. She's addicted to Animal Crossing and Ooblets. Honestly, don't we all start there? Ah, oh, Julia, she tried Stardew. I bet she loves Stardew. Oh, speaking of, did you guys see the the Stardew news? He's working on a 1.6 update and taking a break from Haunted Chocolatier, which, like, kind of hurts my soul, but also makes me happy. Also, have you guys heard about the Pokemon controversy? Oh my god, the Pokemon com community right now is a mess. Anyway, let's watch this, uh, grippy teacher. Is that our homeward teacher? And that person with him is Hatomi from Class A? Dirty secrets, guys. We're getting the tea right now. Oh my, what's going on here? Ah! That bastard. He's at it again? Fucking again? I have to kill him. Yeah, I'll do it. Could be fun. Mio's gonna be so disappointed. I'm excited for the bad end. She has. I think there were too many things. She got overwhelmed. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, Stardew, your mom. She, your mom got overwhelmed. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Too many things she got overwhelmed. I can see that. I can see that. Uh, die. Die, Mr. Joichi. What is this sound? No. Yoko, stop. You'll kill Hitomi, too. I will. 
him. He's shitting his pants right now. I have to do something. Hmm? Hey, over there. Who's there? Uh, I was seen. It didn't work. Run, hurry. I was thinking maybe... Uh, maybe I could just scare him. And then he would fuck off. Um, what is new about this? Oh, he was seen alone with Hitomi Okuda in the classroom late at night by Yako and Mio. What happened in the Pokemon world? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so apparently, there's been some posts floating around of, like, okay, no, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, if you don't open card packs, typically in a card pack, there's, like, a couple normal cards, and then there'll be, like, one really good card. And based on how they come off the line, some people can, like, count in boxes and know which packs are going to be the good ones, which is, like, pfft, next level mega energy. Um, but there's usually packs that have, like, a rarer card than most, right? And apparently for years, I don't play Pokemon, I don't collect the cards, I didn't know this was happening. I just heard about it. Uh, apparently, for a long time, people were complaining that they weren't getting these, like, nice, shiny rare cards in packs like no one could find them and it was really weird turns out because someone posted some pictures on like some websites of just stacks of these really rare cards for sale and stuff um turns out that people in the factories in the factory lines were scalping these cards off the lines collecting them and then sold them like as a batch to people to redistribute at a higher price which is fucking wild um so anyway the pokemon community is losing its mind i think people probably got arrested um i just pff, there's articles for it if you want like a more put together detailed report of what's going on but like that's the tldr that i got and that's crazy fucking genius until you get busted because you have sixteen thousand shiny mews in your house It wasn't Pokemon, but my friend used to weigh card packs to know which had foils and whatever because they weighed more. See, that's fucking, that's crazy to me. That is so next level. Shouldn't have posted it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, they like, we're just trying to sell them as an entire pack, which like, that's dumb as shit. Take one card at a time somewhere. Like, criminals are so stupid sometimes. Um, seems like they're not coming after us. Anyway, if you see a hike in Pokemon card prices, that's why. Um, let's hope they didn't see our faces. But Yako, what came over you all of a sudden? Sorry, thanks for stopping me. It's like this uncontrollable rage suddenly welled up inside me. I wonder what's gotten into me. I can barely even remember what happened. Should have killed him. Happened with mini Lego, mi Lego mini figures as well. People can decode the factory codes. And people in the factory or retails would snatch the valuable ones. It's crazy. That's nuts. A lot of people in the comments of the thing that I saw were saying something about McDonald's monopoly all over again. And I don't know. I don't know what that means. It's like people who stole millions of dollars of maple syrup from Canada. Canada's <laughs> maple syrup reserve. What a heist. Talk about the heist of the century. We're going to get the maple syrup, boys. I love that. I love that for Canada. <laughs> People do stupid things for clout. Like that kid posting the classified Ukraine info in his buddy's Discord. Oh, yeah. I think I heard about that one, too. Yeah. People do really want attention and recognition. Or to be viral or anything like that. Miro Eagle's uncontrollable rage. Yeah. No, that would be me. I'd murder everybody if I had a curse stone. Can't trace it back to me. Why not? Perfect crime. That's a heist I believe Julie would pull off. Absolutely. I joined your heist crew for maple syrup. Uh, I'm really sorry. I do think it's partially the curse's influence on you, but we certainly saw something shocking. My heart's still pounding. I'm a little surprised you know Hitomi from Class A. She tends to stand out a lot. Gotcha. Well, she certainly does dress like a delinquent, though she barely shows up at school. But could Mr. Jodoichi and Hitomi... Uh-oh. Really be a curse bearer? We're about to get fucked up. We're about to die. Hold on. 
I don't know how many of these rely on sound. There we go. Much better. <laughs> we should be careful just in case. Yako? Hmm? When I give the signal, run. Go straight for the entrance, He's don't coming. look back, no battery. <laughs> no, what? Cover your butt. It is time to cover my butt. It's time to cover my butt and run. Thank you for the sound buddies. Oh, I'm actually going to turn the sound back on. I don't think this one goes off sound, and now it's almost too unnerving to have no sound. I don't like it. I have a friend who once did a Photoshop covered in maple syrup. That's something you should avoid. Why? Why would anyone desire to be that sticky? Really? That sounds awful. McDonald's printing factory that made the Monopoly pieces uh, were taking the winners and cashing them in. Okay, okay. So yeah, it is exactly like the McDonald's uh, Monopoly thing then. Absolutely. Speaking of weighing stuff, you ever hear about fixing the PA lottery by messing with the weight of the balls? Oh, no, I did not. Man. What is with... There's so many crime today. If I were in a heist, I'd make it funny. Absolutely. We'd have to go in dressed as clowns or something as our cover. Uh, don't look back no matter what. Huh? Did something happen? Something happened, didn't it? What do you Run. know, Mio? We'll be fine. We'll meet you outside the school gates. If we're not there in 10 minutes, go straight home, okay? Go! <laughs> right. Run. You're a little bit too early. Don't look back, don't look back. Man, our friend is straight dead. Mira's already dressed then? I am. Absolutely. How'd you know about my big shoes and balloon animal pants? I tried to time it. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh, let's see. To get to the gates, I have to go to the gym and... And? Hmm? What are you doing, miss? Busted by the janitor. You shouldn't be here this late. Don't you know what time it is? Oh, Mr. Ashimiya. Well, if it isn't little Yako. Anyway, students aren't supposed to be outside playing around at night. School janitor always. Oh, speaking of school janitors. Weird segue, but just take it. Um, Error, I have a good show for you. I didn't see it coming. I have a good show. It's called School Spirits. I watched it illegally. I'm sure you can find it. It's like a Paramount Plus thing, but. Never did anything like that, but I was a photographer's assistant and had to hold a reflective board lying on a rock in ocean waves to light up a model. It was in the winter and the temperature was 50s. Oof, fuck that. That's not quite a heist. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's the name of it. You you nailed it. A really good show. Only eight episodes. I might have watched it in a day. <laughs> FBI, open up. Not that kind of, not that kind of janitor. No, no, the pedophilia here is the teacher. Oh, I guess I should have read that. Oh, well. I know you're rough around the edges, but I didn't take you, uh, for one to act out like this. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot something back in the classroom. Hmm, no sass today? Realized you were in the wrong, did you? Yes. Uh. See, the problem is, Error, I can watch shows like a fucking bandit. Boggs does not. So, that's one I want to watch with Boggs, and we're trying to watch, like, six other shows that we already started. So that one's going to take a bit longer. I think he would like that one after looking into it. I watched School Spirits all on my own and I kind of regret it because now I'm like, God damn it, I should I should have made Boggs watch this one too. But now you can watch it. You're welcome. Anybody else is welcome to watch it too. I mean, I just know it. it's kind of spooky, but not like terribly spooky. It it reads like a, a YA mystery novel almost. Reads. Yeah. Watches. Watches like a YA mystery novel book. Like... High school drama, but make it ghosts. It's cute. I don't know. I liked it. It's a murder mystery. So, 
Julie, you might like it. I don't think it's like violent or gory enough for you to not like it. Uh, wait, let me think about that for a second. Yeah, no, I think it's pretty PG. I don't, I don't remember there being any like. Blood. Well, there's a little bit of blood because she, she did. She did die, but. On the surface, I was like, this looks like some CW garbage that I could eat up. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I can do violent if it's not the main focus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole plot is a girl dies in the school and doesn't know how she died. So her and, like, the ghost crew try to figure it out, basically. Um, but, yeah. I imagine Mira and Boggs watching a show. Mira's being excited like a small dog all the way through. And Bob was just like the guy in Clockwork Orange. He's a good sport. Unless the show really sucks. But what was the name of that again? School Spirits. Um, legally, I don't know how you can find it. Illegally, I watched it online. <laughs> but yeah, no, I recommend. It was cute. It had like friendships. It had like a little sprinkle of romance. Had some good character development. It was good. Uh, forgot something in your classroom, huh? You're a piece of work. Huh? But you don't have nothing with you. Oh. Wait, you do. What's that in your hand? Huh? Don't just show it to people. Yeah, put that bitch on Plex. Oh, then, then I'd have a better time watching, getting Boggs to watch it, too. Uh, I got it from my grandpa. It's really important to me. Huh. Girls these days sure have weird tastes. Okay, well, you better head straight home if you're not... Excuse me. This topic goes so public. <laughs> I won't tell on you. No, wait. I can't let you walk home al alone this late. All right, just wait a little. I'll hurry and lock things up. Uh, but... Oh, man. Should we... Do we out our friend and say, Hey, my friend's still in the school and she gets in trouble too. If she's alive. Or do we pretend that she wasn't there and if she's dead, she's dead? Oh, no. Friend nuclear submarines? I also prefer nuclear submarines. Hey, potato damn it, welcome. St snitches get stitches? It's true. Oh, it's true. But I'm worried about it. She could be dead. Like, we could send the janitor to die in her place. Like, he could rescue her heroically. Uh... Well, since Potato's the only one who seems to have an opinion, I'll just... I'll... Uh... Uh, you're right. Mr. Genoichi was actually looking for you inside the main building. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was I? <laughs> And that's how I'm picturing this just came out of that man. Um, he's here right now? What's he been... What's he thinking? This man's got pizzazz. I don't know. He was in class 3B on the second floor just a bit ago. Well, I suppose that means I can't be locking up yet. Second floor, you say? I'll just go take a peek. Be back in a jiff. My house is really close by. I'll be fine on my own. Really? That's so? Ah, the snack shop, right? I suppose you'll be fine then. Be careful, you hear? Stay on the big, well-lit streets. If something happens, shout fire. Okay, you worry too much. Well, we wouldn't want to be losing any more st any more students. Excuse oh, because of the suicide. Right, 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 right. No, I imagine you'd know better than anyone. Yes, you're right. What is this epic? Do I even want to click this link? Oh. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, still one of the best stupidest jokes of all time. Oh, is this where we hop the gate and run into that dude from the prologue, probably? Mio's late. I've been waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. Huh? Someone coming down the road. Oh, shit. That's the teacher. No, that's not the teacher. That's the professor guy from the park. No, a teacher. Mr. Arashi. He looks on edge. I wonder what he's doing. Why is everybody just skulking around this school at night? That's what, the third adult and the third child? Uh, wait, he's the one who discovered the Rite of Resurrection. It wouldn't be strange for him to be involved with the curses. 
I wonder if he has a curse stone too. What do I do? But it's way past 10 minutes, Mio said, to be she'd be here by. If I manage to escape, uh, I, man I managed to escape. I can't let that go to waste. I need to get out of here before anyone sees me. Hope hopefully Mio just dipped the fuck out. If she ends up dead, I'm going to feel terrible. Well, not really because I have a flow chart and I can go back, but theoretically terrible. Look, I made it to my house. Ah, I'm home. Thank goodness. I can't wait. I, I don't think. I can't wait. Where did that even come? Where did that even come in? Uh, I don't think the walk has ever felt so long. Nobody will be able to use the curse once it's light outside. I need to go look for Mio as soon as it's morning. But for now, I need some rest. <laughs> Remorse? Who's that? <laughs> Mio knows nothing of her. Oh, shit. That didn't do it. Wait, can we start this? And is it just her? Is it just her at the house? I guess we haven't clicked on a dead one to see what it does yet. Hold on. Yeah, okay. I read something about the flowchart. Oh, no. Don't tell me it lies, doesn't it? I bet there's a whole... Had another entire flowchart. Wait, that's the Warner Brothers water tower? That's not the Warner Brothers water... What are you talking about? Warner Brothers water tower. I haven't even seen a water tower. Okay, we gotta go through this again. We gotta do it differently. Of course it lies. It's a flowchart. I feel like because of what 999 and VLR and stuff did, I feel like they broke flowcharts forever. I feel like they set a precedent that flowcharts have to be misleading. Oh, Yako's home? Oh, oh, like Wacko, Yako and Dot or whatever. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, I think if it's square, isn't cracked and grayed out, then there's stuff you haven't seen or done. Okay. All right, this time I'm going to try not to kill him and see if we can just stay quiet and see if we can get more tea from the classroom. I'll go in, but I won't, I won't get greedy. I think that's what they say. They said, who's they? I don't know. <laughs> the, the flowchart people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, okay, so that's our homeroom teacher and the chick from class A. We know, we know all this. Ah, the men in black. Oh man, we're getting real mad. I won't let him get away with this. What? No, Yako, you can't use the curse stone. What's gotten into you? Who's there? Is someone there? This is bad. We have to go before they see us. Oh, so that didn't give us anything new. Okay, let's actually... Let's just try murdering him then. I don't think he's the one with the curse stone, but I could be wrong. Let's give him a good a good old murderin' and see what happens. The mystery music reminds me of old 2D Zelda palace music. The murder the mystery the mystery music? Okay, I'm gonna have to listen for it. Can you actually murder him? I think so. I think I just had to press it twice and I only pressed it once. I like got cold feet on the second time. <laughs> I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna do it. I did not mean to do that, so that was lucky. If not, then we're just supposed to ignore it and proceed, and then maybe we get out freely. Dun dun dun. Oops, went a little bit too fast, hurt the game a bit. What does it mean he's at it again? What's our curse? They have to hear it for like... Oh, the music just changed. <laughs> F. What? Mirror hesitated murdering someone? I know, right? Oh. Maybe I can't press it again. I'm pressing it right now and nothing's happening, so... 
I take it back. Maybe she does stop us. Or just, okay, the curse just fails because we get seen. All right, so let's just try sneaking past. This time I'll listen to the music epic, I promise. This time we'll just, we'll do a little sneaky snake. Do you have an idea? What's your idea? Let me know. This is my last idea. This is all I got. I wish there was an auto button for when you've already seen dialogue. By the way, there's an auto button in Persona that just like fast forwards through dialogue. I accidentally found that the other day. Missed some shit and had to go watch somebody else's playthrough. Or No, I read the log. I also skipped a cutscene and then I had to go watch somebody else's playthrough for that. <clears throat> Wait longer after the guy hears the music, but don't advance the dialogue. Okay. I wonder if that would work. You also accidentally found that? Good, I'm not the only one. Some of their button bindings are really bizarre for that game. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try some slow murder. Okay. We'll just let him have a listen. God damn it, I didn't listen to the music again because I got distracted by the new plan. What is my brain just Swiss cheese? How long do you think it has to be? Like 30 seconds or something? Will he just like drop dead? Oh, wait until he hears it though. Okay, what's this sound? Listen, listen to my deathly wails. Always has been. Swiss cheese. God, I'm not gonna lie. Our, like, ghost for this curse is absolutely horrific. The fucking... The baby face crying blood is... I don't think it's working. It ain't great! Yeah, it's not. It's not great. What if we just leave him to it? Just let him listen to it for a minute. Um, notes. I think we read this last time. See his parents recently remarried. Wait a minute, aren't these the notes from the cops? Weird, I thought I read those. Honestly, that one isn't that scary. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Ah, it's so hard to control this. That, it's just, it's not great. The arm to, uh, uh. oh, we don't even have that one yet. That one's not that bad either. Kind of spooky, man on fire, sure, whatever. Uh, that one's like, mm, I'll give it a six out of ten. Foot washing mansion is like a zero out of ten. It's just some legs. Lame. Ever burning lantern actually looks dope. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I forgot we have one that we haven't found yet. I don't think it's working. Nope. Damn. Well, that was a good idea. All right, let's try just not listening to their conversation at all. Just seems seems kind of like a waste of a good sleuthing opportunity, but except Tanuki's massive ball chats. <laughs> massive ball chats. Thought I was metagaming it. Damn. Yeah, that would have been good. I mean, it's done things like that before, so it's not completely crazy to think that it would do that, right? All right. I don't want to know. We don't need to check it out, right? Let's hurry and get out of here. Maybe. 
The person who used the curse echo, echo may be in there. If I could just see who it was, I, it could help us later. Oh. Right, just a glimpse. Because, oh, she's not even going to listen. Well, fuck me. An illusion of choice, then. Garbage. Oh, fine. So, we must have to go in to look for her after... I'm actually not going to curse him and hope that he just doesn't use the curse stone. Let's try that. Guide time? F this noise. Is it bad? Is, am I, like, doing really bad? Hold on. I'll open that guide you sent me and take a peek see, I guess. Um, still not coming after us. I don't think he saw our faces. Yako came over here all of a sudden. Okay, so same conversation whether we try to kill him or not. Nope, they're still gonna they're still gonna fucking try to kill me. Rude. Oh, Eric, did you pick a name for your dice? Just reminded me. Um, Yako. Um. Okay, so yeah, we have to say worried about Mio. Time to run. Not yet. Still got to get suggestions for my current. Oh, it's this weekend. Oh, oh, oh. For some reason, I thought you meant last weekend. Got it. S sounded like a cross between a screen a scream and a squeaky tennis shoe. Spook! There he is. <coughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to be out here. Thank you, Mr. Janitor. Um, it ain't lit, so it's all right. You know, an accessory. Hmm, okay. <coughs> what was that guy's name from The Fault in Our Stars? Uh, hey, don't go changing the subject. There's no letting my guard down with you. <coughs> Why are you here so late? Well, um, the truth is I forgot something in the classroom. You don't have anything. Oh, you do. It's my grandfather's. Uh, I'm worried about Mio. Actually, my fr a friend of mine is still inside. I think, uh, what'd that say? I think they'll be here soon. That's so? Who's your friend? Uh, my classmate, Mio Kurosuzu. Ah, oh, that transfer student. Breaking school rules already, huh? Didn't take her for the type. Uh, no, I was the one that dragged her here. Well, whatever. I'll go take a look. It'll be safer if you go home together. Oh, right. She's on the first floor hallway. Be careful, though. Uh, you don't know what might be there. What's that? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, yeah, Augustus. This guy's pulling an Augustus with his unlit, figurative cigarette. <coughs> first floor? Yeah, I'll be right back. Augustus Gloop! Man, it's been a long time since I've seen Willy Wonka. Are we still at the school? Did he find my friend? Last time we were at home by two. We love a metaphor. Sure do. She's late. I've been waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. I'm starting to get worried. I'm going to go take a look. Are we going to get a second dead? Dead again? Dead but another? Mew, are you there? It's a long ass hallway. Huh? Is everybody dead? Is it a pile of dead bodies? Oh, it's me. I have to look. I have to... Oh, man. Uh, she's hella dead. Oh, Mio, what happened? Now I'm hella dead. I don't think we know which one this is. It's my fault. All my fault. 
I left her alone with a curse bearer. Mio. Where's the janitor? Why? What do you mean, why? Oh, dead. I got dead. I did it! Hooray! That's the end of the game, guys. My, my, Miro. You seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. It was bound to happen. There is someone who may must not be trusted. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? If so, you may choose to withhold important information from that person. Fear not, you may try as many times as you like from the event in question. At least we still have Wacko and Dot. At least we have two of the Animaniacs. What am I supposed to do? What did I do wrong? The janitor? Hmm. I don't really understand. It says when trying again, choose the other one. Maybe you have to do one first before the other to get it to unlock something specific? Yeah, you have to die at least once and then go for the other route. Let's see. Let's try. Otherwise, maybe we fucked up, like, earlier, earlier on. I don't think we got another choice here. I think we just saw the professor dude and then left. Okay, we've been waiting. Professor is here. And then we take off. Oh, interesting. Okay. But now can I go back to this one? Maybe it just ends here. Maybe I need to get somebody else to day three first. Now I'm confused. I guess we did things right the first time. It's just that we didn't have the other outcome before. Now you, they're all cracked and grayed out. All right, so where do I go from here then? Wait, hold on. Let this play out. Okay. Oh, I guess this is the one we haven't done more of. So we can't, I don't think we can do the fuzzy one. All right, let's go for this one then. Your favorite error. Um, I'm gonna go to the guide for this because I don't actually remember. Oh no, this one we just got, oh shit. Titty. That we just got straight up told. <laughs> Thank you for the titty error. <laughs> you ready for titties? Um, we just got told we couldn't continue. It was like, we don't have the all the information. I shouldn't, I should have just hit resume instead of restart. Now we have to do all this again. And I'm afraid if I hit resume on the flowchart from this, we'll just be back in our restart. So like, I already fucked it up. Um, what was it? Like economy, I think. Did it? Maybe not. Maybe it was culture. Education. But before was before. Now is now. What? I mean, yeah. Yeah, now is now. Pollution. The river was gross. I do recall that. 
education. My boy, my boy was too sensible. My smart baby bean. Okay. It's gotta be society, right? Oh yeah, that's right. She like went to school with a girl that got killed by a serial killer. Oh yeah, and then we learned about the suicide. Okay. There we go. Now we can leave. Let's maybe have a think. You know what we haven't found? Fucking some more of those awesome chicken stickers. Uh, do we maybe have to call him? Oh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just missed the call. You, you forgot about the one collectible we have? How dare you. Um, okay. I guess I just have to exhaust all this dialogue again. Which we've already done. Oops. Let's do the river a couple times. <gasps> Maybe there's a chicken sticker here. I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna look around for a chicken sticker as soon as they shut up. Has anybody been playing the Resident Evil remake? Also, does anybody have any interest in Dead Island? Uh, I was thinking about playing it. I don't know when I'm gonna get my copy. I think I won't get it until next week, even though I pre ordered it. Because Amazon's on their bullshit. Uh, I've never played any of the Dead Island games. But I kind of want to, I kind of want to squish the zombie's face in. I think it would be fun. So we might do like a Miro's mini next week. Where I, uh, oh, there's got to be a chicken. There's got to be a chicken sticker. This is the perfect place for a graffiti sticker. Are you a chicken sticker? Yeah. Okay, well, it's not quite a chicken, but. Is there more than one? With the amount of chicken stickers there are, I feel like the flowchart really has to be lying. A little bit curious about the new Dead Island? Okay. I mean, Dead Island feels so stuck in the past, so I'm not interested in playing it myself, but I'm down to watch. All right. I just want, I just want to destroy some zombies and, and pretty much call it a day. Uh, the reviews haven't been the best, but I'm also not, not in it for the story. I just, I just want to, their gore system looks amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to crush some skulls and live my best life. We all get that skull crushing urge sometimes. It's not just me. That makes me feel better. Video games don't make you violent though. Mm -mm. No, not at all. Skull crushing stream win. Whenever I get my copy, I don't think it'll be by Sunday. I think we'll have to wait until next week sometime. I'm just amazed it's actually finished and coming out. That yeah, that too. It's been in development for like a hot, a hot fucking minute. <laughs> I remember when the original trailer for it was over a decade ago. Yeah. It was in development hell. It really was. I also like that uh, Goat Simulator 3 riffed off of their trailer. <laughs> Everybody got so confused. Oh my god, it was the best thing ever. Literally the best trailer of my entire life, I think, was the Goat Simulator 3 trailer. And the fact that they skipped too. Oh yeah, that's right, she was the one that found the hand. Dun dun dun, the serial killer's phalanges. Okay. Um, I think we have to talk to him to his face. Oh, my controller's not working. There we go. Oh yeah, he said you you he said he had something to talk about. We're like, let me reminisce about the river and my friend's missing hand. Oh well. I'm calling up Lady D, but she ain't answering. She does. She does like a goal, good skull crushing. I almost feel like that studio should make trailers instead of games. The one that did goats him. I can't think of the name right now. I usually get that during 
A project status meeting when people are rambling on saying nothing important. Man, I feel that. Okay. Um. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember like the cliff notes and if he said anything important. He did say that he spotted a bunch of people. Um. Oh my god, that's right. He did the JoJo pose. He called himself investigator extraordinaire. Lord help us all. That's right, he's looking for the curse bearers. Oops. God damn it. I'm just gonna keep admiring his pectorals. Um, oh yeah, then we need to tell him that the girl that committed suicide at the high school was the one that gave the tip to the teacher to tell him. <sighs> the Dead Island one. Yeah, the urge to, to crush skulls. Yeah. Are there a lot of curse bears in this game? Yeah, yes, there are. Well, it doesn't help that the cop is like doing fucking shuffle mode and swapping them all and taking them and confusing the fuck out of me. Um, yeah, the teacher silenced her probably with a curse. It was Mr. Green in the ballroom with the candlestick. God, it's been so long since I played Clue. Is this the music you mean, Epic? It doesn't really sound Zelda-ish to me. It's got too much... Like, leaning closer is gonna help me hear it better. It's got too much, like, spooky... Spooky wibbles. I don't know musical terms, man. <laughs> Spooky wibbles. That's all I got. Julie, you're just jealous that you aren't a curse bear. If we had to pick, if, if, if I had to pick a single one to have. Let's see. The one, this one is triggered when someone turns their back on you. That one we don't know about. This one is triggered when someone has fire on their person. This one is triggered when someone tells a lie. Uh, this one is triggered when someone hears the sound. Um, we don't know about that one either. That one is triggered when someone is in the darkness. I think I would want the turn your back on you. I think that one's so easy. I'd picked Har Harue. Wait, wait, what was the question? Which, which curse would you want? I think I'd want the one where you turn your back on someone. You know what's crazy, Julie? Is we are we we don't even know about a couple of the curse curse stones. So maybe you are a curse bearer. Maybe you actually are, and we just don't know yet. Yeah, okay, that's right. He claimed that the serial killer that happened to kill a kid back, what was it, like 20 years ago, could actually be out of prison right now. I do remember that. Don't turn your back on me, Harry Potter intensifies. Is that a quote from the movie? I don't even remember that. All I remember is, did you put your name in the goblet of fire? He says calmly. Um, I just remembered something too. What was it? When I was passing to high school a little while ago, I saw someone. A janitor, I think. Oh, I could have sworn he reminded me of Fumachika. Ne oh, so we had to go to the high school girl's route to meet this guy to know what the fuck she was talking about here. Oh, he looked a little different after 20 years, much thinner than I remember too. I told myself I was seeing things. The janitor's the motherfucking serial killer? But perhaps. Perhaps it was him after all. That'd be wild. So, what's next? The big question now is what the rest of the curse bears are up to. Luckily, the Sumida River is a good distance away from any of the seven mysteries. Uh, it's unlikely that one curse bear will come all the way here. I can finally have a moment to think. Definitely sounds like Link's Awakening Palace music to me. Wait, you mean from, like, Breath of the Wild? 
or like all I can think about is like the fairy fountain music and that's not it I see all right excuse me huh hello where did she come from it's like she appeared out of nowhere Oh, from Link's Awakening. Duh, because that's when he awakens. Stupid. <laughs> I haven't actually played that one yet. I think I own it, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm terribly sorry if I've gotten the wrong people, but would you happen to be curse bearers? Fuck, she found us. Scatter. Curse bearers? What's that then? Uh, it seems... It means someone who's getting gathering souls for the right of resurrection. You've heard of the Rite of Resurrection, haven't you? Everybody's talking about it. Telling me intrigued. Care to tell me more, miss? What was your name again? Oh, silly me. I'm Ayame Tono. This is the girl that was with that guy that's fucked over literally everyone he's met. I don't trust her at all. Oh. The OG Game Boy Link's Awakening is better than the remake. What a hot take. I, I have a Game Boy. Hold on. I have a Game Boy. Link game. Hold on, I got I have a picture. But I don't actually remember which one it is. Does anybody else refuse to refuse to update their photos app and it just gets progressively more and more angry? Oh no, I have four swords. I have four swords. I mean the remake does look cute AF though. Is that the one where they turned him into like little little chibi on the switch? I think, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, there's more to the Rite of Resurrection than meets the eye, you see. So the best way to collect soul dregs is to kill another curse bear. And that's about the size of it. I hope it wasn't too much to follow. Oh, thank God they skipped it all. No, no, I think I got the gist. Funny world we live in, huh? So, you're saying that you're one of these curse bears? No, well, not quite. It's complicated. I'm not, but Yutaro is. Yutaro, is that your boyfriend? Oh, heavens no, just a friend. His full name is Yutaro Namagaki. Uh, we're, I suppose you could say we're partners in crime. Funny, funny way of putting it. Uh, did I ever tell you about the Easter egg in the German translation of Leaks Awakening? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Paladin, welcome, hello, hello. Curses. Scruffy hears you, Scruffy don't care. Scruffy, please, please care. So where is this Utah now? Oh, about that. He's not actually a curse bearer anymore. Oh yeah, he got it stolen by the cops. He's more like a former curse bearer. Former? How so? Oh, I don't really know the details myself, but apparently he lost his curse stone. Typical, right? He makes such a show of being a top student only to flunk where it, when it counts. Damn! Wrecking this guy right now. So now I'm out here looking for curse bears myself. If you want something done right, we don't know anything about who these people are trying to resurrect. He lost it? How'd he do that? I wasn't exactly with him at the time, so I don't know exactly what happened. All I know is that he came back saying he didn't have it anymore. Although, well, it's strange that you probe into that of all things. I'm just curious, that's all. Sorry if it's a touchy subject. Well, I don't mind. I don't particularly care about keeping it a secret. Someone's suspicious. Uh, anyway, mind if we ask why you thought I was a curse bear? Yeah, what well, gave it away? <laughs> oh, that. I'm terribly sorry. I was so rude. I saw the two of you out here late at night, and I suppose I made some. If I saw these two standing out on a bridge late at night, my first assumption would be a marital affair. I'd be like, that's some mistress stuff right there. Mistress shenanigans. With the mullet man. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta have an affair with a man with a mullet. The Naomi chick is trying to seduce me, but my heart's with Arue. Stand firm. Be strong for Mother Clarence. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Sorry if we gave you the wrong idea. Out of interest, what was your plan if we turned out to be curse bearers? Why the fuck did she think we'd be honest about being curse bearers even? Great question. And the answer is, I was going to ask you very nicely for your curse stones. <laughs> what is that face? And you thought we'd, uh, we'd have just given them to you? Just like that? 
Uh, maybe not, but you know what they say. You never know until you ask. This girl's naive as fuck or trying to be cunning and look dumb. When you get a sprinkle magic powder on a buzz blob and then hit it with your sword, they'll say, give me your juice, I'll give you mine. Never without condom. Oh no, it was removed in the DX release? Are you serious? Did they really do that? Man, the Nintendo Ninjas are gonna come after you, Epic. They're gonna come after you and your your knowledge. That's funny. That's crazy. I feel like Nintendo would never. Um, you must really love your boyfriend if you're willing to try something that risky. Oh goodness, no, we're just friends. My life doesn't revolve around him, you know. Everything that's coming out of this woman is very suspicious. Anyway, you aren't curse bearers, so I'm just bothering you, aren't I? Please ignore me. You're trying to do the rite of resurrection? Uh, Yutara had uh, his own plan all laid out. I don't know if I can get behind it, though. It seems, how do you put it, self-centered? I mean, if I got a chance to resurrect the dead, it would be a waste not to use it on someone that really matters, right? So I was planning to steal this curse stone at the last second and use it for myself. These bitches bring back Hitler. Well, until he lost it anyway. But don't tell Yatar I was going to do that, okay? I don't think he'd be happy to hear it. Of course, keeping secrets is my business. My, aren't you dashing? It was a popular hip hop song in Germany in the 90s. Interesting. And you just sprinkle a little bit of uh, magic powder, if you know what I'm saying, on uh, some blobs, huh? Listen, if you're dealing with a localization team and you don't speak the language, how would you know, you know? That's true, that's true. It could have it could have gotten by without them knowing about it until later and they were like, fuck, we gotta fix this. <laughs> um, sounds like you really have your heart set on this right. Uh, what were you hoping to use it on? Do you promise you won't laugh? Cross my heart. She's gonna bring back her pet hamster. Uh... I'll t let me tell you my master plan. Prepare to be amazed. Ahem. Oh wow, yeah. That does look a little bit like a schlong. You're not, you're not wrong. Uh, I'm an artist student, you see. Woodblock prints are my specialty. Uh, Yuki Oe, you, 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 Yuki Oe in particular. I know what those are, I just can't say the word. Uh, you can <laughs> Maybe Google will say it for me. Google help. Yukio. Oh no. Ukiyo e. Yukiyo e. Yukiyo e. Ukiyo e. Ukiyo e. Ukiyo e. Try that. Ukiyo-e, huh? You must be a cultured lady. Really? Do you think so? Everybody says it's a strange interest for a girl to have. You know, people often think of Ukiyo-e as something inaccessible, a high-class art form, but that's totally untrue. There's actually a dude on Twitch that makes these, um, like, live. It's really cool. Ukiyo-e. Ukiyo-e. Yeah. It's basically like layered linoleum stamp printing but with wood it's dope i wish i could do it but i'd fucking cut a finger off uh back in the edo period it was an art form for the masses amusement for the common people so when you think about it we feel exactly the same thrills uh from every brush joke as they did back then isn't that fascinating <laughs> the pronunciation won't last listen i'm gonna do my best huh yeah i guess as far as I'm concerned, the undisputed king of Yukioe is the one and only Hok Hokusai. Have you heard of him? Sure I have, he's famous. Doesn't he live somewhere around here, back in the Edo period? That's right, you're just as knowledgeable as you look. 
His 36 views of Mount Fuji are so iconic, they're the only works of his most people know. But Hokuzai was so much more than just mountains and waves. That's only a teeny tip of the veritable iceberg of work. I've got to admit, I only really know him for those landscapes myself. Oh, I didn't... Don't worry about it. Anyone can learn. When Hokusai died at eight, the age of 90, he left behind over 30,000... 30,000 30, drawings! Jesus. The guy that's with Harui right now, what's his name? Um, Richter? Richter. Fuck. You picking on me? R Richter. Riker. Riker. Final answer. Rookie amateur numbers. I do that in a week. Damn, Julie. Riker? Not Richter. No, I said Richter. I said Richter. Final answer. I said Richter. Uh, I have Hokusai in my living room. It's a two page spread uh, from one of his volumes. Oh, nice. Is it like the wave or is it a different one? Is it like one of the, what do they say? 38 landscapes or whatever? 36 views. R Richter. Riker. Richter. God damn it. Um, I can't believe he drew that many things. He kept drawing right up into his old age, huh? Impressive. But even in his final years, he was never satisfied with his own work. His dying words were, should a heaven afford me but five more years, I shall finally become a true artist. Damn, dude. Talk about perfectionism. Even on his deathbed, he still thought he had more to learn. He was already a great painter and artist of his era. The greatest. Uh, who knows what would become... Who knows what he could have done with more time? Well, that's what I want to find out. I'm sorry, you're going to bring back the famous artist? That's, that's a new one. It's a black and white drawing of different kinds of weird fish. My copy is pretty bad, which is why I could afford it. Oh, nice. I'll have to look up more of his stuff. I've seen, yeah, no, Epic, I've seen these, the Kabuki actor ones. I've seen these before. I guess I didn't realize these were woodblock prints, though. For some reason, I thought these were, like, scroll paintings. Interesting. All right, let's listen. Let's listen to the receipts. Riker. Final answer. Riker. Richter. Oh, yeah, no, that's different. <clears throat> Look at those hands. They are, they are a bit... It's style. It's style epic. All right, I admit defeat. Hold on, are you saying... Besides, he always said he wanted to move out of 100 houses, but he only made it to 93. Isn't that just tragic? Uh-uh. No, no. Uh, no way is this going where I think it's going. Imagine the masterpieces he could create with modern techniques. I feel dizzy just thinking about it. This bitch, this bitch is a nut. Hokusai is great. Also a big fan of Yoshitoshi. That's a fun name to say. Wow, Yoshitoshi. Some, you call it style, I say carpentry accident. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. So, if I understand correctly, you want to use the Rite of Resurrection to... That's right, I want to bring Hokusai back to life. What do, you, do you think he'd just, like, come back as a zombie wow. and, like, just rotted flesh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Aaron, thank you for the sound videos. That's what she'd use it on? What a waste. Yeah, we have real goals, like bringing back our darling son that was yanked from our teat at a young age uh gosh is that the time i should be going i need to get my hands on a curse bear before daybreak sorry for flagging you down out of the blue with that blessed of luck that was a weird conversation okay we finally have this girl's profile uh, ayame tono a uh, young woman working with yataro she loves hokuzai's Ukiyo-e. 
um, that she wishes to resurrect him with the right of resurrection. She's clever, but calculating university student who only has time for her own interests. She's making the best of a recent boom in the popularity of female university students incited uh, by their appearances across TV commercials and radio programs. Ayame is content to ride the thread so long as it allows her to get her hands on whatever she needs and wants in life. Recently, Ayame has figured out that older men will fall in love with her if she acts a little bit stupid. See? She's a... She's... She's a, a fox. She's being cunning. She's playing the game. Uh, she was approached by Yutaro in town, and although she was not attracted to him, agreed to date him because his family seemed rich. Gold digger, besides. However, she... Uh, does not think much of him as a human being and is beginning to grow bored of their relationship. Jesus. All right. There goes trouble. No kidding. If we're going after curse uh, stones, we should keep an eye on her, too, if we can. Why do you say that? Before she left, she wished us the best of luck. She's got at least an inkling that we're curse bearers. My. There's a good chance we'll clash sooner or later. Uh, we're all after the same thing, after all. You head back to the mansion, ma'am. I think I'll tail her for a while. Oh, man. This could get intense. All right. I'm trying to suss out the timeline here. So this is when you would have met him on the bridge. But if he's still on the bridge, then he's not tailing the chick. How long? We think it can like go out to here, maybe? Oh, look at the top! This is all night, and then this is once it gets to morning. Oh, so we're at like... We're at like 5 a.m. here, maybe. 4 a.m.? I don't remember what it said last... I know that girl died at 2. No, we're at 3. Okay, 3 a.m. That was close. We're back at the mansion. How am I going to find chickens if we're stuck inside? Never mind. We're not inside. Back here again. I left Richter to continue looking for curse bears. I came home alone. Chickens, 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 chickens. Oh, chickens. What the fuck? Why does it have... Why does it have... Bicycle horns on his shoulders. Alright, well, I found the chicken. I feel better. Um, why wouldn't I go inside? Let's have a think. Will this really be enough to gather the soul dregs I need? What if nobody uses any more curses? I'll lose my chance to bring him back. This is all going to end with just the cop having them all. He's just going to hoard them. Uh, the old Shigima mansion was rebuilt. We rebuilt it here after the Great Kanto earthquake. It always stayed the same after all these years. The war didn't touch it. Thanos style? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to collect all the stones. The power, st power stones? Is that what they were called? Bicycle horns on the shoulder? Uh, you'll have something to grab onto. What? Mm -mm. No, it was an ostrich, wasn't it? You could ride an ostrich, I think. Infinity stones. Yeah, that's what they're called. Infinity stones. Uh, I never liked it growing up. I always wanted to live somewhere more modern. I guess let's go inside. I don't, I don't know why we'd stand in the garden except to find that chicken. Oh. Oh, weird. Okay. Never mind. We just we just went inside. Infinity stones. Oh my god. We only have like a few hours. Do you think we'll get like a night too? I need a complete flow chart. I need to know. Well, with this, we will have visited every place connected to the Seven Mysteries. This is the last spot, huh? And we've got nothing to show for it. Even though every last location looked suspect from top to bottom. Wait, looked? Yeah, it looked suspect. 
Maybe we came at the wrong time. There might not have been any cursed bears around. Sounds like we'll need to do another round before morning comes in. Jesus. Talk about putting in the midnight the midnight oil. Yeah. It's me, but forever? <laughs> uh, I always forget what your last name is. Jokes are too good. Uh, or maybe... Someone's been observing our movements. Eh, what? No way. It's just a thought. Either way, we should check out this last place. Let's hope we finally get a lead. Oh my god, it's that park. It's that park where the... Is it that park where that guy's currently dying? Fuck, I can't see this, the fucking... Oh, no, he's already dead. Okay, never mind. We found him. Whoa, 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 what the hell is this? Is, is he dead? Damn it, we're too late. Was this a curse too? Hang on, I'm gonna call this in. I'll leave it to you. I'm gonna take a look around. Dun, dun, dun. I regret not making stone part of my Twitch name. It could be good or it could be bad. Boss, bad news, what is it? Another mysterious death was reported in the area just now. Medical unit and forensics team are on their way, but... It'll be a while before they arrive. That is bad news. So they got somebody else. You think this is the work of a curse bear? With suspicious deaths popping up one after another? We have to assume it is. Shit. Guess we'll be stuck waiting around for a while. You know, I'm kind of rooting for the cops. Not gonna lie. Oh, I can't even... Hello? Huh? Boss, that phone is ringing. Answer it. Way to go check it out. Now it'll be for us with insider knowledge for the inner circle for the cult. Yeah, there you go. It's secret uh, cult privilege knowledge. You're right. Be careful. It could be a curse. Hey, I said we. You expect me to go alone? You're the one who's tough against this stuff. Don't worry, boss. You can do it. Go on now. Damn it. God damn it. I like I was scared to answer the phone. Hello? Kinshibori Park <laughs> phone booth? Cop Capo speaking. Uh, evening, Detective Sitsumi. This is a guy speaking. How are things looking out there? Excuse me? Who is this? Why is that not you, Miro? Man, why the fuck is that not me? Oh, that's a Peggy version. That's somebody in the UK. UK Amazon has their shit together. Fucking hell. That makes me mad. I'll upvote it, though. Good for that guy. Day minus one edition. <laughs> Technically minus two, isn't it? What time is it in the UK right now? Because it's not supposed to come out until Friday. Bugs and I are thinking that if we can manage to, like, go to a GameStop or a Best Buy or something and get copies, we might do that. But we pre-ordered, like, the collector's edition or something. Popped off for a second? What do you mean? I didn't make that comment. That was the first Reddit comment. I That wasn't me. No credit. Day minus one edition was somebody in the comments. Um. Anyway, we might we might go see if we can get it sooner rather than later, but I doubt that they would have what it's not it's not technically a collector's edition, it's something else. Oh, my reaction getting mad. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hold on. What is it called? It's called the... Fuck me. How many Amazon orders do I have? Oh, fuck yeah. I pre-ordered Liza P. I'm so excited. Oh, it's the Hella edition. I did it for the Steelbook because it was like, what, like 10 bucks more? Never played never played a game in my life, but the Steelbook looks dope. And I'm a, I'm a fucking sucker for a Steelbook. Oh, I'm so excited for Liza P, though. I'm so mad, though, because they said it would be 2023, and now the Amazon date says 2024. Like, they moved it, meaning it won't be this year. Like, they moved it They moved it to 2024. They moved it to December 31st, 2023, which usually means it's next year. Ugh, it sucks. Makes me sad. Too many editions these days. Why not just game? 
game game edition mm, yes the game edition i don't know i think different editions are kind of fun unless they i the ones that i don't like are like you get all of the physical goodies but then you get a digital code for the game instead of the physical game like i understand having options like where you get physical goodies and physical game or you get digital game and physical goodies because sometimes digital people want the collector's edition too right um but if it's just collector's edition plus the code and that's all they offer that's annoying i think uh final fantasy 14 endwalker did it right where they had they had like 10 different ways you could do it it was great that's the way to do it well ha 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 i finally got him the real deal Detect this is that scrawny asshole with glasses i bet <laughs> detective said to us Satsumi himself Wait, the Chief Inspector Satsumi now, isn't it? Oh, no, wait, this is the serial killer. I bet this is the janitor. Come a long, time, long way since we last met. I asked you to identify yourself. Man, have you forgotten already all that time we spent together? What a time that was. As I recall, I gave you quite the runaround. Wait, is this? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Fukuchika Najimi? The serial killer? Did you say Fukuchi... Fu... Fumichi... Fumichika, did Jimmy? Uh, I really want to get the deluxe version of Jedi Survivor for those sweet cosmetics, but I don't know if I'll end up sticking with them. Like, sticking with the cosmetics? Actually, I have no idea what the... Um... I also don't really know, like, I don't feel like cosmetic stuff is worth it. Like, it's a nice bonus, but I don't feel like it should be the only thing a collector's edition is. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm looking it up because I want to know. Ah, that's a nice box. Ooh, a steelbook. <laughs> a lightsaber? Does it work? An entire fucking lightsaber stick? Hold up. Oh, that's limited run. That's probably different. I don't, I don't think that's it. That was dope, though. Oh, I see. Here's the cosmetics. Oh, cool. That's cool. It's like uh, Han Solo jacket and stuff. You can always get some lipstick mascara later. Yeah, pretty him up. Um, like the one from the Najima murders? Yes, that serial killer. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. I had a feeling the great chief Satsumi would remember me. I spent 20 long years in a cell thanks to you. That shit was not easy. This guy's really a psychopath. You should be thanking me. Should have given you plenty of time to think and atone for your sins. Ha ha ha, that, that it did. I repented, my conscience is clean as a whistle. Bullshit, 20 years in prison doesn't even begin to make up for the shit you did. I don't know about that. After all, the justice system was gracious enough to grant me parole. What? Is this the real, uh, if, if this is the real Fukuchika Jimmy? Fumi Chika Najimi, uh, he must still have a grudge against me for arresting him. So this is payback? Damn it. What's your goal? What's your goal, my guy? Now, now, you gotta understand. I repented, seen the light. It's been a, I've been a good boy since I was granted parole. I even got myself a job. I've been real serious about walking the right path. That's very nice. Keep it up. Oops. But it was no good. When the opportunity arose, it was impossible to hold myself back. I knew I had to give you a little token of my thanks, so I'd never truly be able to have a fresh start. Or I'd never truly be able to have a fresh start. Goal? Oh, not what's his goal? Not my goal. <laughs> I don't have any goals. Uh, do you get what I'm saying? No thanks. I don't need anything. No need to do all this for me. Just try to live a quiet life. Ah, uh, it's no hassle, no hassle at all. You know what? This guy gives off, like, fucking Batman Joker vibes. Like, like unhinged. 
It would be all too easy to just kill you, to tear you apart, but that wouldn't be very satisfying. Certainly not after 20 fucking years of waiting. It's a long time to nurture a grudge. Fucking bet it is. I let it gnaw at me, grow inside of me. I thought of nothing else. All that time I played model prisoner, endured the harassment those asshole guards threw at me, and I did it all for you, Satsumi. So please, just accept my deepest and most sincere feelings. Sorry, but I'm afraid I don't feel the same way about you. Shut the fuck up. That attitude of yours is why I'm saving you for last. Last, huh? <gasps> what if the serial killer is actually the creepy dude that, like, murdered the dude in the prologue? We haven't seen him at all again. He was just, like, lurking in the park. Come on, bats. You know we can't just leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are you planning? Whatever this is. Whatever it is, bring it on. I'm not running away. I just told you I'm not coming for you yet. Pay attention when people talk, shithead. You see, this time, this time, I want you to... S I want to see you on your knees, weeping in despair, begging for me for mercy. Do you think he's mad a little bit? Well, oh no, I'm so sorry, dear Najima. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. Jesus, Satsumi. The cop's a little bit unhinged, too. Shut the fuck up. This is exactly why I always hated you so fucking much. It was worth a shot. Do you really think that would sate me, asshole? You, may, you must be crazy. Well, then, we're both crazy. We've got so much in common, we should be friends. Enjoy cracking jokes while you still can. I'm gonna kill everyone you care about one by one until there's no one left. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't have anyone like that in my life. Uh, boss, what about me? <laughs> Not my little partner! Oh my god, we really are like Batman and Robin! Wait, are you trying to protect me? There's not a single person you care about. I wonder what your sweet daughter would think if she heard that. Don't you fucking dare, I'm warning you. Oh, very nice. This is more like it. She's living all on her own now, isn't she? Attending university and all. Such a good girl. My, my, don't tell me that she just happens to live in Honjo. What? She does? No, forget it. This isn't funny, asshole. I'm gonna ma find you and make you pay. Ah, I love it. Keep going. I want to hear you lose your mind. It's music to my ears. Fuck you. <laughs> good, good comeback. Got him. Nailed it. Is the other person on the phone Fred Durst? I feel like I know who Fred Durst is, but nothing is coming to my little Swiss cheese hole. Oh, don't make that weird. That could be weird. I look forward to chopping up your precious daughter. It'll be just like old times. I won't let that happen. How did you know where I was? Ha <laughs> that's my favorite part. The sound of confusion in your voice is to die for. Hmm, this is delicious. I can't get enough. I'm not telling you shit. Have fun racking your tiny little brain for it. <laughs> Mirror's literally a zoomer. <laughs> Listen. Limp biscuit. Okay, the only reason I know who Fred Durst is, I think, is because of an Eminem lyric. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know that I ever listened to Limp Biscuit. I know who they are though. This reminds me of a Batman Joker skit. I'm gonna put it in Discord. Okay. Hmm, I guess I could give you a little hint. Go on. Well, you see, I have the one-sided reed. Oh, he has a curse stone? Tatsumi, you have the evergreen beach, no? Najima, you're a curse bearer? You're using the power of the curse? Indeed, and what a particular curse it is. But that's where my hints end. Oh, what if the storyteller is actually the serial killer? Talk about a plot twist. God damn it, the curse echo couldn't have fallen into worse hands. I don't think they underbaked their biscuits if they were that limp. It's true. A uh, an underbaked biscuit is uh, the death, the death of man. 
Limp Bizkit is the music of my people. I'll, I'll listen to it. I probably heard some of their songs and I just don't know it. Because back when the radio was a thing, I, I like never knew the fucking names of songs. Ever. They just came on the radio and I was like, oh yeah, it's this song. Right? Um, One more thing we should discuss. In fact, it's the most important thing. I thought you were finally going to shut up. I'm already sick of you, so I'll pass. Oh, but you don't want to miss this. It's the main course. Uh, I could just go after your daughter, but something tells me you'd get bored. No, I'm good. You got me real fired up. You're in my head. Well done. But if this is, this is a gift Taylor made for you, I'm going to kill all the people you swore to protect. Every last person living here. You couldn't. Oh, but with this curse of mine, I can. I'll give you until dusk. But then, I should probably get a couple hundred people or so. I could probably. And it's it'll be all your fault. You definitely know Roland and Break stuff? Break stuff. Okay. I was going to click on it, but... We'll probably get a copyright strike. I'll let you know in Discord after after stream what I what I know. Because you're probably right. Um oh it must be so hard to know they'll all die because of you. So tragic. It must be tearing you apart. <laughs> I can't do an evil laugh to save my life. Uh don't fuck with me. There's no way an amateur like you could pull off a curse that strong. Unfortunately for you, I absolutely can. My curse stone is a particularly strong one. Which means I can have my fun without needing to hold back one bit. It's almost like a feast of shadows was cast just for me. You're surprisingly well informed on this. Who was it that tipped you off? Wait, who? What? Kirsten, did he say he had? One sided read. One sided read. Don't know that one. Don't know the beckoning light. Oh, here it is, the one sided read. Okay. So we don't know who has it. I was hoping maybe that would out him. Uh, hmm, who knows? Then how about I kill myself first and ruin all your fun? What about that, asshole? Idiot. You think I'd call off just call it off just because you were dead? There's no running away for you. I'll find you. I won't let you get away with this, Najima. You've got 12 hours. Do you really think your paltry little organization will be able to make a dent in my plans? Oh, the sacrifices made will be heavy. I can't wait to see you sobbing with regret. <laughs> and I'll even have enough soul dregs to put the uh, pull off the rite of resurrection. How splendid. Wait, Najima, you're after the... Anyway, see you around. Bye-bye now. Evil laugh, maybe not. Witch cackle, most definitely. Maybe. Uh, It's just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Everything is fucked. Everything sucks. You don't really know why. You don't know just why. You just did it. And then I did it all for the no gain. Maybe? That sounds familiar? Boss. Ariel, did you catch all that? Najima, what is he planning? Um, he's going to murder my family. Who knows? For now, we need to find him and get him in custody. Send word to HQ. The fact that the seven mysteries are wrapped... The fact that the seven mysteries are wrapped up in this is going to make things tricky. You mean Najima's being a curse bearer? Just our luck, really. Uh, it couldn't have been a worse guy. Sounds like this curse will be able to kill a lot of people at once. I'd like to avoid getting the investigators caught in the crossfire. I'll tell you what, I did not expect to get a phone call from a serial killer when I arrived at this park. Uh, we'll use them to find out where he is, but then we're going in alone. We should try to collect as many cursed stones as we can before them. Let's hurry. Aye aye, boss. We have like six ways to catch this serial killer right now. We have a, we have a lot of things. Later, it was reported that a total of three suspicious deaths were discovered that night. 
Najima's threats along with the curses were kept secret from the general public. However, the Honjo serial killings still made international headlines following the death of police officer Hajime Yoshimi. At Susumi's request, a large-scale investigation was launched into Fukushima Najimi's whereabouts. Satsumi and Irio uh, themselves spent the rest of the night looking for curse bears in the area, but their search ended in vain. And with that, a curtain closed on that cursed night. Twelve hours to sunset. Yeah, we got like a good outro music there. Nice. Hers is still like clear the fuck out here though. Oh no, it got longer. It got longer. I think. I I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it got longer. How big is this flow chart? Hold on. We're going to stop here because this is a good place to stop even though it's early. Uh but how big is this flow chart? Paranorma site flow chart. Peanut butter and jelly? The long way? What is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? Peanut butter and jelly the long way. Okay, hold on. Images. Oh, you know what I could do? I could look at somebody else's playthrough towards the end and watch them open up the flow chart. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Are you trying... You fold paper hot dog ways. That's long, but... <laughs> Jeez, Julie! Peanut butter and jelly! <laughs> That's how I read that. You doing okay over there? Oh. This is the joke I'm missing. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Peanut butter jelly the long, the long way. way. Peanut butter. Peanut butter the jelly long the long way. way. I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. Why did that make me so uncomfortable? It, you are correct. It is the long way. It is the long peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it might be one of the weirder memes I've seen in a minute. Um. Okay. Let me get sound back on this. There we go. Let's uh, save it up. Uh, so, as it stands... More of this on Sunday, and then probably some Dead Island next week. Or if I happen to get it early through some means, um, or Amazon blesses my doorstep, uh, Dead Island Sunday, and then more of this on Wednesday. It it'll be a little bit of a mystery. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Air er Epic, was peanut butter jelly time. That's what I thought. It's peanut butter jelly time. Such a ugh, classic. Good shit. Man, I haven't seen that in so long. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is where I will leave you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go listen to Limp Biscuit now. So, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, I had fun. I will see you all on Wednesday. No, Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Sunday for maybe Dead Island, but probably Paranormal Site. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Let's do our thank yous and our goodbyes. And uh, everybody can go off to listen to either Peanut Butter Jelly Time or um, Lip Biscuit. You know, whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, thank you so much to Air for gifting a sub to Epic. Epic, welcome back to the Superheroes. Happy 22 months. Uh, Korean Barbecue Guy, thank you for the donations and the wonderful conversation. Appreciate it. Uh, Admiral Broco, thank you for the resub. Happy 52 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Thank you for that Ta tier 10 joke. Uh, Boggs, thank you for the resub. Happy 63 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. And Charles, thank you for the resub. Happy 46 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Why not both at once? Yes. Yeah, that'll do. Good, good, good. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful night and a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you all on Sunday. Um, and if you're curious about my Persona 5, uh, royal progress, uh, it's over in Julie's Discord. Uh, it's April, it's April 12th in the game, so I haven't made it very far at all. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go work on it now. Uh, in fact. 
Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye!